I never used to be a believer in grounding. Um, I started reading a lot of books about this kind of thing and treating diseases holistically. And I think that's probably where I got my first exposure to grounding. I've seen these kinds of experiments being done way in the past, usually with electrodes on their feet. And then they do a little blood draw, put it on the microscope, and they show you the coagulation of the red blood cells. So when I saw that I just had this microscope just waiting there for me to do this grounding experiment, I'm like, let's do it. So when I first did the experiments, I was doing just a simple finger prick, and then I would just squeeze a little drop of blood out and tap that onto the microscope slide and put on the cover slip. Very simple, very straightforward. So the first time I did the 30 minute grounding, I saw a huge difference between the before and the after. You can see in the control photo, there's red blood cells that are super, super clumped together. And then if um, you look at the after photo, they're really separated. There's really not many of them clumping at all. They have a lot more surface area that they're able to interact with. Um, now, when I do my experiments, I need to make sure that I'm putting the same amount of blood on the microscope slide every single time. Um, because there's only a certain amount of space on that cover slip. So if I have more blood on one draw than the other blood draw, there will be more clumping and less space for the red blood cells to move around. Seeing the results myself really solidified it in my mind. It's not some voodoo like hippie thing. It's like real. This is actual science. Just based on how often I used to hear about grounding five years ago versus now, there's a big difference. A lot of people are really aware of the benefits. I got all kinds of comments like, this is so eye-opening. I didn't know it was like this. Like, this is awesome. I have to ground right now. And I think people um, are becoming more open to it.